Hey everybody, got another Moira VOD review for you. This one is uh, Bronze 2 on PC. Looks like we're on New Queen Street. This is a loss. Uh, this person, they were on a huge win streak. They finally beat their peak of Bronze 3. Uh, they, they say their MMR is, is higher than it's ever been, so they're, they're kind of feeling a little bit out of place and not really sure how to play in this lobby. Uh, said they felt like they were playing well, not making any big blunders. They didn't provide much value. Uh, so let's let's see, let's see what we got. Uh, let me let me get the rest of this out too. A climb with Moira partly as a dive flanker, sneaking behind the enemy team, uh, etc. Uh, however, the, they sh they didn't see a lot of uh, opportunities for that, uh, and it's in other words, their their enemy team was doing that to her or. I'm speaking as the character to this person as Moira. Um, so they didn't see a lot of opportunities to uh, secure kills or find people kind of out of place. So we'll, we'll kind of see if we can if, if we can identify any of those. Um, and they're they feel like I'm I'm probably going to call them out for their fade usage, but they're not really sure why. So or or, or when to actually use it. So we'll, we'll see if we can identify any of those. Anyway, so I'm not going to read the whole thing. That's that's kind of the gist of it. Uh, good orb. I like the orb off of that that pillar. Uh, I use that same spot. Good fade jump. That's cool. I like that. I like seeing that. So we're looking at how do we get value. Okay. So I like this. It, it's kind of hard that you're putting yourself in front of everybody. I do like this. I'd like to, if I was going to do this and go up here, I'd want to be up here so I can, I can get after them, especially their mercy. Against this team, she's my, she's my priority target. So, oops. Right, because right now, yeah, that's cool. You're going up here and doing that. But as you can see, you can't hit anybody. And it's okay to, like, be beaming people and not kill them, right? Because part of you going up here to beam them is to be distracting, okay? So I I think that you knew that this is a good idea, but I don't think you knew why, All right? Or maybe you did. But to execute it better, I want to see you come up over here and make them turn around. Because if you make them turn around, they're not looking over here. If you can make... Especially this Mercy, she's she's the one I want to see the most. Because if you make her turn around, she's not healing, she's not damage boosting. So, Fade, it looks like you have a really high sensitivity. I'm never going to tell, people ask me what sensitivity I use, and I, I can tell you if you want, I'll have to look it up, I don't know what it is. But it's pretty low, okay? I am never going to tell you a sensitivity is right or wrong, but there is a right or wrong sensitivity for you, and it is up to you to find out what that is. It looks like your movement is very jagged, right? You kind of see how it kind of feels like, like you're just kind of bouncing around, right? Like you had too much sugar or something. I, I can't have a high sensitivity basically for that reason. I do not have a steady hand. I'm very shaky. Okay, so... Uh, a million years ago, when I was playing first-person shooters, I could use a high sensitivity because I had a very like precise hand. That is not the case. I'm old. Okay, so I use a low sensitivity. It helps keep from doing that. It helps keep everything kind of fluid and smooth. Um, some people with with Moira, it's good to be able to whip around. Sure, I get it. I I don't feel the need to do that with Moira. I would rather have a very consistent aim. Um, so again, this is all personal, personal preference. I'm not telling you to do anything right or wrong. This is just an observation. Okay. What I don't like is that you faded into the middle of their team. Okay. If you don't get punished for this, I'm going to be very impressed. Okay. I am very mad at the enemy team. You should be dead right now. Okay. So I, I talk about in reviews, right? Some people will complain and I'm not saying this is you. I, I see this a lot when I'm just kind of reading posts on Reddit and things like that. Um, my team, this, my team, that, okay. Well, your team, this, and your team, that the enemy team is also doing this and that you the enemy team made a huge mistake by not punishing you here. Okay. Maybe they're about to, 
but you already have faith back and you can get away. Okay. They still haven't pushed you. And they know you don't have fate again. Okay. So finally, finally, 10 years later, the Ramatra removes his head from his ass and is like, oh, maybe I should go kill this Moira. Okay. In a higher rank, that's going to happen way faster. You would have been dead on that first fate. As soon as you land in the middle of the enemy team, you just explode. I, I've i talked about this in other reviews. Uh, the best way for me to put this is you cannot heal stupid. Okay, It is not your job to heal stupid because you can't do it. If you have to sacrifice your positioning to save somebody, don't. This is their own damn fault that they, they overextended and they get themselves killed. Do not sacrifice your safety to help them. I don't care if they whine at you. I don't care if they say support diff. I don't care. Doesn't matter. Mute chat. They can eat shit, right? Do not help these people. Do not enable this. If you try to save them, you're enabling this behavior. Don't do it. Okay, because what ultimately is going to happen is maybe you don't get punished for it now, but you're going to. This kind of stuff gets punished fast, right? When you're when you're climbing the ladder. Oh, it looks like you're about to get punished for it right now. Yep. Okay. So you first death. So I I went on this big rant about you doing this, right? Because you're going to get punished for it, and you did, right? So I was kind of half expecting for you not to get punished for it because they didn't punish you for fading right in front of them like six times, okay? Don't ever do this because now they're just going to blame you because you're the one that died. I will never fade to heal somebody unless I am absolutely positive nobody's going to push me. What the hell is he doing? Oh, so my team this, my team that. Okay, this is one of their their team this. This is the dumbest thing I've seen yet. And it's the enemy team. Okay. Orbs up. Shoot an orb off of this wall, right? I like that you, you knew to shoot orbs off the map geometry there. Do that here too. Okay. It looks like you're going to. Okay, so good. Great. I like it. You shot it exactly where I was pointing. So, yes, you ha you have that. But... I'm being nitpicky because this is the stuff that matters as Moira. You have to maximize your value at all times, right? You don't have the quote-unquote uh, utility that other uh, supports have. So Moira's utility comes from bla basically blasting your cooldowns and doing other things like distracting and uh, you know getting people to, to split off from their team and, and things like that, displacement. Okay. There's a trap right here. You've been staring at this for 10 minutes. You can ping that. If you don't have a ping, if you don't have ping bound, um, bind it. And then ping it. Better yet, kill it. Okay. Actually, you're the one that stepped in it. Okay, so look around, right? You see it right there. We were, we were staring at right? Of course it's easier for me to see it because we're watching this. There's not the pressure of the game. I can see it. Uh, I still would have seen that. You need to see that stuff. Sometimes the traps are hard to see. That one was not hard to see. Uh, how do I react to a tire? Actually, exactly as you did. I want to get as far away from everybody as I can. And that way, if he chases me with the tire, cool. He's. Pr I'm probably going to die to it. I'm really bad about fading away from tires because the junk rats are, are good, right? They know exactly when their tire is going to be close enough. And they also know uh, that if I fade... Right, that they can actually still kill me with it. So they, they try and force out Fade with it. Um, that said, I, I like what you did. Right, I will sacrifice myself to get a tire away from the team. I don't care if I think I'm the best player on the team. I, I'll still do it. I, I would call that something that Moira does. Because you're more likely to get away from it, from it than anybody else. Glad you didn't cast your coal essence there. So that's good. So, talking about fade usage and when to use it. This is a time you could use it. You, you don't want to be the person between your team and their team. If you're going to heal him, you can fade in there and heal him and shoot a healing orb or do something else, right? Okay. I like the coalescence because you guys are coming out here, you're going to contest, etc. I didn't see a reason right then for you to cast it. Okay. 
Coalescence is the timing on it is very important. If you're going to cast it early like this, the reason why you want to cast it early is to get the enemy team to move back. In this instance, there's not really a reason for you to do that. Because you're not clearing the way for them, for you to capture a point. Really only clearing the way for them to get off the point. But this cart moves, so, the robot moves so slow. It doesn't matter how many people are on it. If one person's on it or five, it moves at the same rate. Okay. About the only thing you can do right now is get them to back off of the robot, which isn't that important right this second. So I would rather you use at this time, remember who I said my number one target is? It's you, right? I am going to cast my coalescence in such a way that I can focus her down. And what I'd really like to do, we know she already used Val class fight, so it doesn't really matter, is I love getting the mercies to, to Valk as soon as I coalesce them, and then I still kill them, okay? That is a tracking thing. That is something you just got to work on with, with tracking. I'm not like an ace tracker, but I'm decent at it. And that's something you can do is... is uh... So I'd like you focus target. That's, that's, that's good, right? But you did it too early, okay? Let's see when you cast it. Okay, so we cast it here. Let's see how long it is before you get value from it. All right there. Five seconds left, right? So imagine if Blizzard was like, hey, we're going to make Coalescence five seconds long. Everybody would go nuts and be like, you're stupid, and why are you nerfing Moira, etc." Well, you just did that to yourself. Having an extra three seconds of Coalescence here would be really nice, right? Because you can help get your D.Va around the corner. You can focus them down. Okay. I like the concept. Right? Just got to work on the execution. Okay, I love that you're going after this Mercy. I like I love killing Mercy. It's my favorite thing. Um, that was a very ballsy move because you faded into them uh, out in the open. But I do like this. Yeah, see, you see how, how jerky your mouse is? I have a feeling that your sensitivity is too high for you. I don't know what it is, but I feel like it's too high for you. Okay, she tell she uh, teleported. She faded behind you, right? I know that because I can hear it. Try, excuse me. Try and listen for that stuff, because now she's got friggin' a sliver of health and no fade, right? You know, that's really bad for a Moira, right? So, right, somebody the the Lucio ends up tracking her and getting that, right? But that isn't always the case. So you sh you want to look for that too. The robot is moving the In this instance, I'm not healing her, I'm damaging him. And I'm certainly not trying to heal him. So, look what happened, okay? As soon as you put pressure on him, he stopped looking at her, okay? If he had better aim, she would have been dead already. So, the way you get interactions like that to change is to put pressure on them. Same thing with the enemy Reaper, okay? All right, the Reaper's on your team. But say he was on the other team, and he's going after your tank. Don't heal your tank. Damage the Reaper. Put the pressure on him. You cannot out-heal Reaper damage. You actually can out, you cannot out-heal most damage. Right? And this is why heal botting doesn't actually work. It works to an extent because once people start learning to focus fire, and it, that doesn't you don't have to climb that high for that to happen. Uh, you, you just can't outheal it. You can't do it, right? That's why you'll see people posting stuff where they got friggin' 8 billion healing and they still lost the game, okay? So that's one of those interactions where you can be like, all right, if I know I can't heal this, so I'm going to do the next best thing and I'm going to damage it, okay? You can hear them over here. So I don't know if you're playing with headphones or not, but I do. I highly recommend it. Um, I actually spent a way too much money on my headphone setup, uh, but I'm weird like that. So, it really it doesn't matter. The sound mix of Overwatch is phenomenal. It's like the best I have I have ever encountered. Um, use that to your advantage, right? You could hear all of this before it happened. So, if you don't have headphones, highly recommend it. And you can also 
right? You know to use the map geometry. I hope you're not just like memorizing spots and more using the map, ge map geometry. I I'd like to think that's the case. Um, you seem to be pretty good with drawing bounces. Um, but use that to your advantage, especially against the Junkrat, right? You could have done that on this same pillar that's over on the other side. And, and you could put pressure on him without having to look at him. All right. Number one rule of re reacting to a blade. Don't fade until you know he's coming for you. And even then, wait till he dashes. Because if he dashes, chances are he might actually not get anybody with it. Because he'll be too far away from anyone. And it'll expire before he gets his dash again. Okay. Mercy, again, this is one of those instances where Mercy is the bane of my existence. She can outheal your damage. Right? She didn't even have to do anything. She just got to stand there. She can outheal whoever you're damaging. So that means the result is damage her. So when you're looking for opportunities to be able to do that... Look where she is relative to everybody else, and then put yourself in a position to damage her, like up here, right? You know how to fade jump up there. I saw you do it. Go up here, right? I haven't seen you in this thing once, and this thing is, like, overpowered, this tube, okay? Stay up here, because if the Genji comes up there and challenges you, dead, right? I'm not worried about him. I, I will... The Junkrat is the only one on their team that I will not head-to-head -head with. I'll try and kill him through, like, geometry and stuff like that. Everybody else, whatever. I mean, I'm not going to 1v1 their tank, you know. But, I, you know, I'll tick, I'm not afraid of him is what I'm saying. Because once he goes into Nemesis form, you just fade away and he, he, you're, you're fine. Okay. So, yeah. What, what are we looking for here? We're looking for opportunities to kill the Mercy. What I did like here is the Diva Bomb's going off. So you, put a, you just put a lot of distraction pressure on them. And then they kind of forget about the bomb because they can't track two things at once, and then they all blow up. So that's how you can take advantage of I like the orb. I like the chase. It's good. I don't like your running back. Okay? You don't need to do that. I hate this. This stuff makes me nuts. <laughs> right? So think of me the next time you see more than one person on the robot on a push map. If you see... If, you, if that number says anything but one, right, just think of me... Screaming at the screen. Okay. Alright, so why did we die there? If you are up here still, you can put pressure on them and then fade to get out when you need to. Okay? The one thing that I always talk about people, you never want to fight on the robot. Ever. The only time you want to fight on the robot is if the enemy controls it. Okay? Because it's not moving. If you fight off of the robot, it'll continue to move. So set yourself up to do that. This, I hate this. Everybody's just standing in the open, right? Circle jerking and singing Kumbaya, right? That doesn't do anything. I like this fade jump, but you fade jumped into a junk rat. That's... Game sense is going to help you not do that, right? And part of game sense is hearing. Okay? And then you, you get punished for it. Okay. So, what should have happened there is you hear the junk rat up there so you shoot an orb at the ceiling and it bounces around up there you're not going to kill him right especially because the mercy's up there mercy is like the anti-moira when you think about it like a lot of people just kind of forget about that mercy she just seems so like i don't know non-intrusive or something so people like practically just ignore her sometimes uh, but she basically negates you So, I don't know about this hole. I like that you got a kill with it. But did we really need it? Okay, that, I don't know what the hell this is. And so if you still would have had your orb, that's how you kill that junk rat. You didn't even really need it. You tickle him to death. He's not even looking at you. Your fade's up. Yeah, we didn't, we didn't need to do that. You got the kill out of it. That's what I like to see from Cole Essences. I'd rather you see it on her. Especially if she comes over here and resins this. Oh, he already respawned. See how you... Like, do you feel like you got any value out of that coalescence? I, I would say no, right? You got the kill out of it, but that's cool you could have gotten otherwise. 
Imagine if you had that right now. Oh my god. Delete it. You could delete that mercy, which you should be doing anyway. Luckily, the soldier killed her. This is a good fight to have a coalescence. Oh, so close. If you had coalescence there, he dies, right? And coalescence plus tracking. You gotta work, you know, work on the tracking a little bit. It seems like either your sound is low or you're not. You can't hear it, or something. There's something going on with your sound here. You should be able to hear the Genji through the walls and track them that way. That is very important for Moira, and that is very important for climbing. Like, you can hear him, right? Yeah, of course we can see him through the wall in the replay, but you can hear him, just listen. Especially now. Good fade. Sucks because team five was over anyway. But yeah, you're not reacting to the sounds of things is affecting you a lot. It's interesting. I don't. I don't typically talk about that very much. I talk about it a little bit, but this is. It seems to be affecting you a lot. I, I would say it's it's highly impacting you. These orbs. You gotta stop doing that. I don't know what they're. I don't know what they're for. Because now you don't have it. This is a perfect place for a damage orb. Put some pressure on the enemy team. You know what the crazy thing is? Your team's actually really good. I'm not saying like you caused this loss, but you guys, like you're doing the right things and you can kind of see the kind of the butterfly effect of when you don't have something, how it immediately you lost value because you didn't have that thing. Right? Because an another healing orb is doing nothing. I, I want to see you shoot more damage orbs in general. In Shooting damage orbs is free money because it does damage and it and it gives you healing resource. Right? Because there goes another orb where you got nothing out of. You can you can now you can see him through the wall because he's on your team. You know what he's doing, right? He's going for the mega. Okay, let him do it. I like to use uh, damage orbs to bait out uh, deflect. A lot of times, if I'm going to shoot a damage orb at a Genji, I'll shoot it at like this weird angle, and sometimes they won't. Like I'll shoot it above them or something like that, and they have to go out of their way to to deflect it. And sometimes they'll miss. And then if they do deflect it, okay, now he doesn't have deflect. So I tell my team that, right? Now in, a, in high rank lobbies. The, you know, the team knows to take advantage of that. I wouldn't expect you to do that for that. I would expect you to use Damage Orb to bait out Deflect so you could go just go get in the Genji's face, and, right? Because Deflect doesn't do anything against you. I don't like this Coalescence. Because the reason why I don't like this Coalescence is because you didn't... If you would have stopped wasting your orbs... You wouldn't have needed it. You got... You see, right? We still haven't gotten any value out of this Coalescence. You healed your D.Va, but she wasn't going to die anyway. Right? If you would have just healed her. Something, uh... I haven't talked about this in a few videos. Um, it is not your job to keep your team at full health. It's not. It's to help your job secure the objective, okay? Tanks use their health as a resource to take space. The tank does not need to be full health all the time. Okay. So, your diva was low during that, but if you had had your orb up and not, not wasted it, you could use your orb there, keep her alive, right? She wouldn't have been at full health, but you would have, you would have won the fight, and then you could just heal her after the fight. Okay, does that make sense? Because right now, we're being very active. You're just kind of bouncing around to everybody, healing, spritzing. Um, you're healing full health, uh, full health people. It's This is the part where you, you know, you're kind of worried about not getting value. This is the instance where you're just kind of existing. So what am I doing here? One, I'm not staying out in the open because that makes me insane. Okay, I'd like to be behind this or over here so I can duck into here real quick. And I'd be after them. They're, they're the ones I want. I don't care. 
I don't care about my team right now. Nobody needs me. I care about causing trouble for the enemy team, right? Healing a, a demeching diva, nothing. In that instance, just stay on the robot as long as you can. Do do a little bit of damage, whatever you can, and then die as fast as you can. Okay. A lot of people stagger themselves. I wouldn't say you staggered yourself there, but I'm saying that's that's, uh, that's like the soldier just staggered himself. Bother. Or was he trickling? Let's see. Yeah, he's trickling. Okay. Yep, that's something you got to be careful of too. Now you can't do anything about that. There's nothing you can do about that, and don't try. Right? You're just going to get yourself killed, too. So. Receive, join me. You, your orbs are killing you. Your orbs are absolutely killing you. That's eight seconds until you get to do something else. Right? Eight seconds of no value. Because, look, you got a damage orb right there. Shoot. Right? And there you go. If you'd have had that sooner, now you have a second one. And do it twice as much, right? For every time you don't do that, you just lose all of that value, right? A full damage orb is about 8% of your ult. So every 8 seconds, you can get 8% of your ult, right? So, theoretically, right, if you fired orbs on cooldown... Well, you know, 12 cooldowns... 96 seconds, you have 96% of your ult, plus it just kind of generates over time, right? So, you can get your ult every minute and a half just by using damage orbs. That's, and that's not doing healing, that's nothing else. So think of how fast you can farm your ult if you use, you use your orbs correctly. Now, that one was just a script. Yeah, we all make mistakes. You aim it wrong, it bounces, goes off some stupid way. I do those too. That's not an issue. I'm not calling that out, right? I, I generally don't call that kind of stuff out because it just happens. This, I like. This is good, right? But use your orbs. Get value from your orbs. Like, see? The Mercy, she's just standing there. She Just, just standing there. Just having a good time, right? Just hanging out with the boys. She's not doing anything. Bronze Mercies do this. Okay? Shoot. Plat Mercies do this. Because the problem with, with a lot of the the, oops, the lower ranked Mercy players is they just heal bot. They just stand there and think their job is to use a yellow beam and a blue beam sometimes and, and uh, resurrect people when they die and that's it. Okay. Let's go back to... Uh, why did you fade? Okay, you, you faded because you went out the door. I would rather you see you stay over there and keep causing trouble, and then keep your fade. And then if if somebody if somebody pushes you that you can't kill, then you fade. There was no reason for you to fade there. Good. I like the chase. Okay. And you guys end up winning that fight. That's good. That's good. But I want to see the pressure on. I want to see that if you were still in there, you're putting pressure on her. Look at this, right? It, it's it's funny how you probably don't notice this stuff until somebody else points it out, and then you're like, oh my god, I'm doing this like every eight seconds. I'm throwing one of these orbs. Okay. I like the bounce. I like that you're using the orbs quickly, but think of how much more value you could get if you just w were a little bit th more thoughtful about what am I going to get out of this? Okay. If you would have shot a damage orb at her instead, oh god, right? Easy kill. Let's see if she gets away. She sure does. Okay? You directly impacted her living. You directly impacted that. That is your fault. That is one thing you can't blame your team, right? And I'm not saying you were blaming your team and, like, I'm just looking for ways to be like, oh, you screwed up, right? This this is one of those where you actually get to see the immediate results of your inaction. Okay? I like this. I like how... I, I, I like how aggressive you are. This is good. You need to do this kind of stuff more often and make yourself safe. See, um, I like see how like like jumpy your there's there's something going on with your sensitivity. You should definitely look into that. Um, I like this. Okay, you you can put a ton of pressure on her mercy with a coalescence, even when you're, she's in Valk, and you can kill her in Valk. Okay, I really like this, but just think about the timing. 
and it's a little early. Fade, get out of there, sure, shoot the orb. And then reposition your corner. The Mercy's an idiot, she should have died right here. Okay, and then the Genji got you. You, what happened here is you, you, you were kind of in the middle of the fight and you didn't need to be. Okay. One, doesn't take very long to get to a rank where they'll just take your head off if you do something funny like that and show, you know, go, go show your ass to, you know, right to their face. Okay. I'm going to ignore that, but just know that for the, you know, purpose of this. Okay. So now you're here, right? All right. Let's go to, and this at this point, I'm not saying you could have swung the fight one way or the other. I am, I was saying that you caused that that honor to live, right? And look how much, look how big of a impact she is right here, right? It's gonna be really hard to kill her or anybody else because, you know, they got a lot of sustain now. It's gonna be impossible. But we're looking at where you are right now. Where you are standing right now, that's it. Don't go past that, okay? There's no reason for you to be up in this fight. Because if you were staying right here, this idiot dies. Because this was dumb. I don't know what this clown was thinking. Okay. There, there's no reason for you to see all of this. You don't need to see this. You're not going to do anything against that. So you need to stay back here and make sure this stays okay. And part of this staying okay is you killing idiot... And then when Genji drops down, you can see him, right? You know how I, I told you I like to stand right here so I can duck down in there. If you could hear him, which you can, duck down there, let him drop down, and then you can you can take his take the duel without it being a surprise, right? Because he basically took you by surprise. So she should have died here, whatever, right? And then you get jumped because you, you didn't know he was there. So it looks like that's about it. So... Uh, let's kind of revisit what we were doing. Um, you like to play mostly as a dive flanker. Yeah, and I, I'd like to see that more. All right, you did it a little bit. I, I like that. Um, I'd like to see that more. Use more of the high ground and use more of the high ground and cover, right? Like like I talked about. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, you weren't able to get many picks with your ult. And you, now you see that. Why? You used it way too early on most most instances. And then, you know, you're not able to beam somebody down. And you, so the misuse of fade is you, you tended to fade into dangerous situations. Like uh, the recently I was thinking when you were in here, right? You were in here and then you faded over here and the Ryan was right there, right? The enemy Ryan. Okay, that's dangerous. You didn't get punished for it. Now, sometimes you did, but you didn't that time. Uh, fade with a purpose. Okay, so I, I hope that that how I explained that was was useful. Um, I'm trying to make sure I, I actually addressed your bullet points. So, yeah, so I, I think that's uh, that's the big picture is is <clears throat> with your positioning, keep the aggression, but be more mindful of where you are relative to everybody else. And that's going to play into that big thing, me talking about hearing, right? Now, if there's some, for some reason you can't do that, well, that sucks. I'm sorry. Um, and then you're just going to have to work with that. But if you have the opportunity to to use a decent set of headphones and, and just focus on, on what you're hearing, um, that's going to help you a lot. It's going to help you a lot with your game sense. So, And then uh, just keep, keep your uh, coalescence usage to something. Cast it if you're going to get a kill. That's it. That's my, you know, for the next month, just do that. Only cast it if you're going to get a kill. And then go from there, so... All right, so that'll that'll about do it from this one. I hope I hope to help. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Good luck.